ask for a question. Thank you so much for delivering the 55th week title. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Thanks for your support. Who was your favourite football player growing up? Thierry Henry. Hi, Leon. Hi, yeah. What are you expecting from Hibs in Sunday's game? Oh, it's going to be a tough one. Very loud, yeah. So sometimes after the game, I have to check my ear a little bit, <laughs> my, my right ear, but no, all good. See, he's a super, super nice guy. Hi, Oli. Hi, Leon. How do you feel about having your signing a new contract this week? Ah, I've been, I've been really happy. I've been buzzing. I've seen it yesterday on social media and I actually commented on it as well. It's like a little thing I have between me and him, like a little insider. And I just commented like, Skippo, because he's our skipper. And um, I'm very happy, he's a great guy, on and off the pitch. He's a, he's a role model, he's a leader. And um, one of the lads I actually get along quite well with because he helped me to integrate really, really well. So, um, re really buzzing. I think, just like everyone is, he's a great captain, he's a great player. Thank you. Hi, Leon. Hi, yeah. What are you expecting from Hibs in Sunday's game? Oh, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one, I mean. We're still unbeaten in the league and I think every every club would pride themselves on being the first one to do so and therefore we're gonna it's gonna be a tough match. Um, like the previous matches have been against Hibs. So we need to be on our A game um, to get a good result, but we're looking forward to that and uh, working hard already to get prepared and make sure that we're gonna win this game as well. How much do you feel you have improved as a as a player at Rangers this season? Oh, that's a really good question, you know. Um, I don't know how to say how how much, but I definitely feel like I, I like I did improve just in terms of... Um, because you ask a lot at Rangers, you need to perform at a very high level every day, every single day in training and every performance to, to earn and honour wearing that badge. So um, one thing, because I play on the left side here, um, but I'm a right foot, probably my left foot has improved a lot. Um, I got to improve my right fullback skills a little bit again because I had to help out on that position. But overall, it's just like little bits here and there. Um, I could not nail, like pinpoint on one, but it's it's an overall improvement I've definitely made as a player. Hi, Leon. Hi. What is the determination like in the squad to keep going and finish the season well? Oh, it's big. You can see like, when I came when I came in this morning. Um, we were in early today because we had to get our, our our COVID test. And when I came in this morning, I've seen like five lads in the gym already getting ready for the session, even though we were like still two hours away from training. And you, you can see it there. You can see the the application and training. How everybody's really on it. How we're not really we're, we're relentless. We you hear that word a lot around us. And like we're on to each other with with like about the small details. The managing stuff leads there by example and we just follow because we know the season is not over yet. There's still a cup to play for. There's still some records we would like to um, beat. Um, so therefore it's it's big. So you can be rest assured that we are not in holiday mode yet. Go on mate. You also play beside Paul Coulson and defense. How do you think playing with him? How do I like playing with him? <laughs> a lot, a lot. I, I mentioned him in the beginning. He was also um, alongside Taf, one of the ones who welcomed me here with open arms, who helped me um, integrate quickly. And obviously playing with him is, is great fun. We have um, a similar past because we both used to play for Brighton. Um, so this kind of connects us and it, it's really good to, to play with him because he's, he's very vocal. He's probably one of the biggest leaders in the group very loud, yeah. So sometimes after the game, I have to check my ear a little bit, <laughs> my, my right ear, but no, all good. See, he's a super, super nice guy um, and a very scary defender, I would say, but that's what we need to be. How much has joining Rangers helped you get back into the Nigeria squad? And is it fun traveling with Joe Rico to play <laughs> international matches? Um, it helped me in terms of the confidence levels with um, that I traveled to Nigeria with because once I started playing back at Wigan last year um, I was part of the of the squad again 
um, because before I was just struggling for game time, that's why I was not invited. Um, but obviously it's nice to have Joe Aribo there, uh, a teammate, and also for him, because he's still quite new to the national team. So therefore it's good to have someone, I've, I've been there now for seven years, um, so he can lean on me a little bit, even though there are more guys that he knows also from, from his time in London. Um, but no, it's always great fun and it's nice not having to travel alone, obviously, because the, the journey is quite long. Who was your favourite football player growing up? Thierry Henry. Well, he was for me the first player I've seen who had this kind of... He seemed arrogant, but I wouldn't say arrogant. He had this kind of class and style about him, the way he was moving, very elegant. Even though he's quite tall, he's very technical, he's powerful. He was just, it was just delightful to watch him. Um, so he's he's probably my all-time favorite player, um, and then another one who I really enjoyed watching was uh, Ronaldinho. He was just magical. Before I ask my question, thank you so much for delivering the 55th week title. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Thanks for your support. And also, the question links up to that. Who was the first person that you phoned slash contacted after you won the title? Uh, my family, definitely because um, they've been the biggest support throughout my whole career and um, it's a bit of a shame because of the whole um, pandemic situation I haven't been seeing them for now over a year so those were the first the first ones I had to call I FaceTimed them um, and shared a bit of the moments in the dressing room with them obviously it was quite loud so I spoke to them afterwards again but it was my family so that means my parents my sister and my niece how did you experience when we finally secured the title? How, how did it feel for you? Who did you celebrate with? Um, me, my mom and my dad, we had a party afterwards. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I celebrated it with my mom and my dad. I was so excited and I was celebrating with my mom and dad. I was celebrating with my dad and my granddaughter. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just the love for the game, to be honest. Do you play yourself? Um, yeah. What position do you play? Um, I usually play striker, but sometimes... <laughs> That's how I started, so you probably love scoring goals, right? Yeah. And you just get addicted to that feeling, and if you score a goal, everybody's buzzing with you and just celebrate. It's, it's just the love for the game, and then obviously the dream of maybe being one day maybe the best player in the world or playing against the best of the world, playing a World Cup, all these kinds of things. And um, I'm, I'm fortunate enough that I've been able to actually play in a World Cup, for example. Um, I've played in the Europa League, I've played some real great games against some real great players. Um, yeah, and that's just that. So that's what I would tell you as well. If you strive to, be a, to, be a, to become a professional footballer, don't lose the fun and the love for the game but because that's what it's all about. That's why you started and you should never lose that because this gives you the drive and the passion to just keep going and keep going and keep going. One piece of advice, well I said something before that you should always remember why you started because there will be some things that hit you along the way that might distract you but never forget that you started because you just love to play that game. and because it's fun and because you enjoy it. One, one last bit, as he was an ice hockey player, Wayne Gretzky, he said, you miss 100% of the shots that you, that you don't take. So don't be scared to try something because the chances are you might fail, but if you keep trying, you will get better. But if you don't try, there will be no positive outcome ever for you. So don't be scared, just go for it. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to stop us from next week. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.